FlexGrid for WPF is a full-featured data grid control designed on a flexible object model. FlexGrid offers many unique features, such as unbound mode, flexible cell merging, and multi-cell row and column headers, making it a proven solution for data management and tabulation. In this video, we'll walk through how to create a data-bound FlexGrid and how to configure the column layout both automatically and manually. We'll also see how to configure a few key features. Once you've installed Component 1 WPF Edition, you'll find the Component 1 controls in your toolbox. Locate C1 Flex Grid and drag it to the window. You can clear the padding and alignment by right-clicking and selecting Layout, Reset All. Dropping the control from the toolbox will add the necessary references to your project file, which include the FlexGrid library and the C1 WPF library. This includes common elements that FlexGrid requires, such as menus and cell editors. The project here is already configured for an MVVM structure with the FlexGrid added to one of the views. In the view model, there is a defined collection of business objects named test results to use as the data source for the FlexGrid. To bind this collection to FlexGrid, set the item's source to the name of the collection in XAML. By default, FlexGrid will automatically generate columns and populate the data grid, so getting started is as easy as setting the item's source. You then need to configure these columns. We will learn how to configure the auto-generated columns in code and look at an alternative approach which configures the columns in XAML. For example, let's say we want to hide the patient name column and apply some formatting to the date posted column. To configure the auto-generated columns, we can write some code in the item source changed event. This event fires after the columns are generated. Access the columns in code by typing flexgrid.columns bracket column name and then the property. To hide a column, set its visible property to false. Set its format property to the corresponding format string to format a column. Let's run the application and see the results. If you want more control over the column layout, such as reordering columns and applying custom binding converters, it is best to do this in XAML. Instead of configuring the auto-generated columns in code at runtime, we can instead define the columns in XAML. Back in the XAML view, set the auto-generate columns property to false. Open the flexgrid.columns collection and add each column you wish to display. This defines each column object in XAML, where you can set its bound field, set the format property, the width, and have complete control over column order and visibility. Run the application to see these changes. FlexGrid columns support adaptive or responsive sizing, also known as star sizing. Star sizing is a XAML technique for the grid element. Rather than explicitly defining column width by pixel, star sizing tells the control to proportionally size the columns to fit the available space. If every column's width is set to a single star, they will all be equal width. A value of two stars means that column will be twice the width as other columns. 0.5 stars means it will be half the size. A simple way to take advantage of star sizing is setting the last column's width to one star. This will let it extend to fill the available space, regardless of the user's screen resolution. Once you have configured your columns, you're ready to enable even more features in your grid, including frozen columns, text filtering, and grouping. For further tutorials and samples, browse our resources online. There you'll find the sample shown in this video called Lab Results installed with the Component 1 WPF Edition. Thank you for watching and for choosing Grape City and Component 1.